In this video we're going to be taking a look at creating a contact form. It is a core module in Drupal 8. We'll have a look at the existing contact forms. We'll then create a success page and we'll create a new contact form with some custom fields. We have a Drupal setup with the help of the Drupal Compose project and we have the Docker for Drupal setup for it. So as you see we have the web folder and everything that comes from the Drupal Compose project and we have also the Docker Compose YAML file which comes from the Docker for Drupal. So if I just run docker compose up minus d we're going to see that we already have some containers running and if we jump to our web browsers we would see that we have a Drupal instance already installed so if we go under structure and contact forms we would see the existing contact forms in our Drupal instance by default. So we have two contact forms. The first one is a personal contact form that is used for the user detail page if he activates the contact form. And the other one is a website feedback contact form that basically we could render anywhere with the help of a Drupal block. So the main settings are the label, the recipients of the mail that the contact form is going to send, a short message, a redirect path that is going to redirect after we submit the contact form and some other settings that are not super important. And other cool stuff are the manage fields page. From here we could basically add new fields to the contact form and we're going to be able to basically change the way it looks with the help of the manage form display. This is the way the form looks and in the manage display we could change the way it would appear in the email that is being sent but basically there are not so many settings here so it's not really super important let's go ahead now and create a success page so that in the new contact form that we would create we would be able to at the success page here as a redirect path. So under content, we already have a basic page. So we're going to simply create a new basic page. And we're going to just say thanks for submitting the contact form, something like that. And for URL alias, we're going to just say success. Okay, and we're going to click save. That's good enough. So afterwards, let's go ahead and create a new contact form by going to structure and contact forms. We're going to create a new one. And simply we're going to say for a label we're going to say how are you doing form the recipients 
just some random recipient the message thanks for letting us know how are you doing and as a redirect path we're going to just paste the URL alias that we created for our thank you basic page and let's go ahead and click submit here and this is a basic contact form we're going to simply see how it looks by clicking here from the overview in the structure contact forms and we're going to see that basically it's nothing super fancy but there is a subject there is a message and there is a send to yourself copy checkbox so let's go ahead and create also a new field so we're going to go to manage fields and we're going to say add new field and we're going to simply add a date field and we're going to say how when are you born just a simple date field for the birthday date and we're going to say date only because we don't need the time date is enough and that's perfect so we added it and we're going to just save the settings we don't want to make it mandatory that's good enough just like this we also don't have an idea for a help text and additionally in the manage form display I'm going to simply remove the option to send yourself a copy send copy to sender I'm just going to slide it to the disabled group of fields and just going to click save perfect so now let's go ahead and refresh the page with the how are you doing form and it looks a bit differently as we see we have the when are you born and we don't have the send yourself a copy checkbox which we didn't want so I am quite fine thanks for asking let's just go ahead and paste it several times and let's just put a date a birthday date so this is my birthday date 23rd of March and I'm just going to click on send message and there we go we have the message here and we have the page that we created especially for the redirect after the submitting of the contact form in the next video i will show you how you could debug the emails that are being sent with the help of mailhawk so if you like this video please check the links in the description like subscribe and 
Thanks for watching.